What is your absolute worst meeting the parent story? In my younger, testosterone fueled, chest thumping, days I met my girlfriend's dad. He went in for the handshake and sneak attacked me with a two handed, double clasp, firm grip. So in order to demonstrate my alpha maleism I did the Spartan warrior forearm grab. He quickly escalated to the left hand on shoulder disappointed father pose. So, while maintaining an ever tighter grip with my right hand, I reached up and patted his head. He was bald. It was awesome. I totally won. My now wife is a legal Mexican immigrant and so are her family. She is 5 feet 2 inches on a good day. I'm 5 minutes and 10 seconds. I assume that her family is small in stature like she is and maybe a stereotyped version of Mexicans that I envisioned. Nope. I meet her ham-fisted father who I find out was a federal, a boxer and a bodyguard in Mexico in the 70s and 80s as 6 feet 4 inches 260 and her older brother is just as tall but not as heavy, and her younger brother who was 14 at the time is 6 feet 1 inches. She also has two sisters who are my height. To be fair I was told all kinds of stories about her dad and one of her sisters. Her dad beat this crap out of her sister's abusive boyfriend. Her sister getting into knockdown drag out brawls at clubs. So I am introduced as her friend because she has told me her father is very strict and she wasn't allowed to date in high school. Now at this time we are in our 20s. I sit on the couch and they are all watching a George Lopez comedy special. I don't want to laugh at all the Mexican jokes because I didn't want to offend anyone. Her older brother turns to me and says you don't think this is funny I squeak out a feeble response and he leaves me alone. Turns out it was all in my head. I had some misconceptions and false expectations and was a bit racist. But now some 8 years later they are the best in-laws one could want. The first time I met my now future in-laws I wasn't with my fiancé at the time. We were freshmen in college and one of her friends from high school was one of my roommates. Well one day he and I were hanging out at our place. I'm baked as heck and I think he was probably a bit drunk. Anyway all of sudden she knocks on our door and very sheepishly tells us her parents are here visiting and want to meet her new college friends. She tells us she really hasn't made any friends but doesn't want to look pathetic in front of her parents so asks if we will help cover for her. She had told them most of her friends were at class but that she knew we would be around. So my buddy and I go to her dorm and there are her parents both of whom were nice enough. But I guess I looked even more baked than I felt. Her parents kept asking if I had been studying all night or something because I look so tired so I just went with it. Fast forward 3 months we have started dating and she is talking to her parents on the phone. She tells them about me and for the first few years we dated I was sleepy Steve. Not that embarrassing I guess. But I'm not sure if they have ever put together that I was really baked the first time we met. I met her drunk stepfather. He said, do you have a car? I have two. He was going blind from alcoholism. So he couldn't drive his cars. I only talked to him twice and it was the same both times, about cars. I got excited for you, thinking he was offering to let you drive his cars. So not meeting the parents of a so, but regardless it was still meeting the parents of someone of the opposite sex. We were all sitting at the dinner table, and in my normal, awkward state, I proceed to mention how BJ is in the dictionary and therefore it can be used in Scrabble. Her dad's face was priceless. Oh to be 15 again. X was Italian. Flew to Italy to meet the parents. Go straight from the airport to this huge family dinner with aunts, uncles and cousins. X leaves for the bathroom and the father asks his wife to translate a question. Whole table is silent. She says my husband would like to know if you love my daughter. I laugh awkwardly and drink my drink. Praying they are joking. Number. The whole table is silent waiting for my response. So I mumble a yes. I met an ex's parents for the first time while they were cleaning out their loft. The dad was in the attic handing stuff down the ladder to the mum. And I helped out to get brownie points even though I'd recently hurt my back. By the mum handing the stuff to me and me organizing it into little piles. Anyway the dad hands this toaster down and the mum drops it and is bending over fumbling with the wire picking it up. While I'm stood behind. Facing her. Attempting to crack my spine by pushing my fists against my lower back and rhythmically swinging my hips back and forth. Brother comes out of his room. Shakes his head at me. Girlfriend comes up the stairs. 
shakes her head at me, and it was only after I saw the look of utter fury from her dad in the loft that I realized I was air fricking his wife. I shook it off by jokingly trying to high five the brother with my best Borat impression. Nobody was impressed. It was awkward from then on out. For four goddamn years. I was chatting with my girlfriend while she was on the phone with her parents. They knew if me at this point and that was it. She is black and I'm white. Father, why do you want to date a black girl anyway? My official answer to this question would be that it's meaningless to me what her race ethnicity is. I honestly don't think of it very much unless we get nasty stares or comments then I remember that was supposed to controversial. Even in a liberal college town. Me. Speaking only to my girlfriend. PFFT. Jungle fever. Girlfriend. Oh. He says jungle fever. I almost freaking died. He parents think I'm whiter than cream cheese so they found it hilarious that I'd even know what jungle fever is. They laughed for about 5 minutes. I was talking to my girlfriend's dad outside. For some reason, the conversation turned to grapes. At this exact time my girlfriend came at me with what I believed to be a grape. I opened my mouth for the sweet nectar. It was not a grape. It was an olive. Now, the juxtaposition of flavors would be bad for most people. However, in my case, it was the difference between one of my favorite things to the absolute worst food in the world. I mean, you would think I was allergic. So, did I calmly walk to the restroom and spit out this monstrosity? Nope. My fun brain decided I should scream like a little girl, literally push through every single one of my girlfriend's family to loudly spit and wash my mouth out in the bathroom. My father-in-law still asks if I want any olives. My freaking white middle class parents making casually racist comments about hispanic low income families around my white passing but proud hispanic girlfriend, now ex, who was also from a low income family, it really made her and I incredibly uncomfortable, and yet they were completely unaware until I started calling them out on it, I guess they do it because they grew up white middle class baby boomers or something, doesn't make it okay. My father in law is like that. He frequently starts his racist rants with something like now you know I don't have a racist bone in my body, but Mexicans are the laziest people I have ever met. I met my wife freshman year of college. After finals, she went back to Connecticut and spent the whole summer apart. Upon arriving back at school my first stop was the grocery store to pick up some provisions. And, by chance, I saw her down the cereal aisle. So I figure I'll make the grand gesture and I start running up to her and then I drop to my knees to slide into her like it's some freaking musical. But then her mom steps in between us and I slide face first into her butt. We are good friends now. I had just turned 21 and had met a girl at a bar. She invited me back to her place to do the nasty and warned me that she lived with her parents so we had to be somewhat quiet. They were hippies and were okay with her having sex with people as long as she wasn't loud and blatant about it. We get up to her room and she kicks her really old cat off the bed before we get down to business. I went down on her first and she seemed really excited and got wet quickly. We rolled around her bed a lot and enjoyed the night. Afterwards, I got up to go to the bathroom and turned on the light. I looked in the mirror and was covered in blood from my mouth downwards and had what appeared to be crap smeared all over my chest and torso. I immediately started yelling and her dad burst in the room and said oh wow. Apparently her cat had shat the bed before we kicked it out and she had unexpectedly gotten her period at the same time. I sprayed off in the shower and beat a hasty retreat home. I saw him at a bar a year later and he said he had never felt more uncomfortable in his life. We laughed about it and had a beer. I have a mild but awkward story about dating the boss's daughter. I had just started working at a provincial park so I got to meet my new boss and my girlfriend's father at the same dinner at her house. So we were having dinner at her parents place and her dad asked me what size boots I wore. They provided them. The park. Not her family. He's shorter than average. Maybe 5 feet 4. I'm 6 tall but I have big feet so I when I said that I wear size 13 he gave one look at me that turned from wow those are big feet to wow. This guy is probably hung like a horse to you're not going anywhere near my daughter. Of course I still did. Yeah, he only wants his daughter around men with small dongs. Perfect parenting. When I met my ex-girlfriend's father, I asked her what I should wear and she suggested a white t-shirt and a blue sweater. This was her suggestion. 
cut to the introduction in the lounge and her dad is wearing the exact same thing. Of course it gets worse. We then went to a local restaurant for a meal and a guy on the table next but one to us was wearing the exact same thing as well. I can't imagine how this is a problem at all. It wasn't my experience, but my first boyfriend's experience with my parents. Dear god it still makes me cringe. He was in band and had a ton of female friends, most of whom he lived nearby and had known for his entire life, so sleepovers were fine. The night before our middle school graduation he slept over with his friends and they decided to paint his fingernails, each nail a different color. So after graduation he and his mom were going to pick me up so we could go to some super sweet 8th grader party. He gets there and I tell him to just put his hands in his pockets because I don't know how my parents would react to something so strange. That's when my middle aged father decides to come inside from around the pool wearing nothing but his hot pink speedo to meet his second daughter's first boyfriend. CJ if you're reading this, I'm still so dang sorry, even though I'll laugh cringe about it still. I was 16, fooling around with my girlfriend at her house when her parents were gone. I was rounding third, as it were, when we heard her parents pull into the driveway. We stopped, she zipped up her pants, and we ran out to the living room, jumping onto the couch and turning on the TV. Her parents walk in, groceries in hand, and I am introduced to my GF's dad, whom I had never met. Thinking quickly, I offer my right hand to him. We shake. Then he grabs my hand and holds onto it. He has a weird look on his face, and in sudden shock, I realize why. My index and middle finger were still wet from things. I quickly wrested my hand from his grip, made up some excuse about how I had to go home and walked out. I had only been dating this girl for a couple months, but she wanted to travel back home for a cousin's wedding and asked me to go. I agreed knowing that this meant I was definitely going to have to meet her parents. The wedding was in her hometown out in the sticks of South Texas. We get to her parents house just after dinner time. Both her parents were on the front porch sitting in rocking chairs. We walk up to the porch and make out introductions. Mother is a very nice and sweet southern belle type, seeing as she was from Louisiana. She asked if I'd like some sweet tea. Yep. Mother goes in the house to get the tea and GF went with her to help. This leaves me alone with father. He seems to have a very sour look on his face and not at all pleased to meet me. I later learn that this is just the way he looks. All the time, I sit down in the vacated rocking chair and a small table separates us. He pulls out a small .38 special with a recessed hammer and places it on the table between us. He says, this is meant to be fired from a jacket pocket. You'd never see it coming. I look down at his gun on the table and then look up at him, then back at the gun. Then back up at him and he has these squinty eyes that seem to be drilling into mine. I then slowly reach behind my back and pull out my Desert Eagle 5.0 and place it in front of me on the table. It is audibly heavy and has a satisfying tachunk sound when I lay it down. I have a CHL. I said to him, this is my Desert Eagle. It's meant to kill people. Efficiently. At that moment, his eyes lit up and a smile grew on his face that I didn't think could get any bigger without his face cracking in two. Very soon after the GF and mother came back out with the tea and I grabbed my gun and holstered it and got up for mother to sit down. Father looks at GF and points at me and says, I like this one. Father and me got along just fine. Ah, memories. Desert Eagle, efficiently. What? Her dad took me to the basement. Pulled me into some weird closet room, gestured to the safe and allowed me to open it. The man was ready for the zombie apocalypse. A half dozen or so automatic rifles, several shotguns, and a handful of handguns, and boxes of ammo. He pulls out the AR-15 with laser scope on top and says here, hold it, to which I grabbed it. He goes how does that feel to which I replied heavy. He laughs and grabs it from me, puts it back in the safe. Shuts the door and stares at me with a scowl. I just said I understand and he instantly smiles and says good man and we went back upstairs. Turns out he is a great guy and is just protective of his only daughter. I'm marrying her in two weeks and I'm happy to say I consider him my father as well. It all worked out and I knew my place. New girlfriend and I decide to bang for the first time while my mom, dad, and sister are at Sunday evening services. 
They arrived home earlier than expected and in the middle of going at it we hear the beep from the alarm console notifying us of the garage door opening. This gives us 15 seconds to throw clothes back and forth. She ducks into my closet and I run to the bathroom. Moments later I'm wondering why I am having trouble getting my jeans back on. Yup, they were her pants and that is how my parents found out I was sexually active. This is probably one of the best that I know, but I'll share anyway. When she was in high school or college, my aunt dated Ted Nugent. He showed up at my grandparents house to pick her up in a black hearse one night. My grandfather answered the door, stared at him for a second, and yelled back into the house. Fuck Fx's aunt, your girlfriend is here, then walked away. In grade 10 I was seeing a girl, we lost our virginities to each other and fooled around for about a month. One spring day my mom comes charging down to my room more pee than I have ever seen her and rips my laptop out of my hands telling me to stay in my room. Turns out her dad came to my house and he knew about some pictures his daughter sent to me. Also, both her parents were cops and they threatened me with child pornography charges. The next time I saw those people was at an Easter dinner two weeks later with her entire family. It was one of the most awkward situations of my life. I tried stuffing for the first time, and to this day it reminds me of this situation. At the time I was in college and me and this girl had already been dating for about 6 months, but since we both lived a long distance in opposite directions I'd never met her parents. So they decided to come up one weekend and bring a trailer to help her move her furniture into her new house. She told me to wait there while she went and met them at her aunt's house to load stuff. I thought it was weird she didn't want me to come but not important. So I sat there for what became hours and hours and during this time my lower GI tract decided to voice its displeasure with me. I tried to sit there as long as I could but eventually I figured they haven't gotten back yet so it will still probably take them a little while. Went into the bathroom and unleashed one of the biggest craps I've ever taken. And while I'm sitting there I hear my GF walks into the house looking for me. I got up and flushed the toilet into my horror the water rose but never subsided with this great testament to the feckle lords piled in the center. All I could do was shut the door while I met her parents and they had a queer look on their face while they sniffed the air. To top it off her mom was a police officer and was talking about a murder at a crime scene and other fun stuff for a first time meet the parents encounter. Comma the feckle lords. Bravo. First time he met my parents, we were hanging out downstairs, both 16, still just getting to know each other. He'd already met my mom and that had been all boring and normal. Then my dad came home. Keep in mind we haven't even kissed at this point. He came in, saw us lying on the giant beanbag side by side on our stomachs talking, and made a oh, you two look comfy comment and gave the how do you do's. Unfortunately for the guy who is now my husband, then I was given an opening I should not have been given. My dad asked if he could get us anything. Before I even thought about it, I went yay, a box of condoms, a dildo, vibrator, a dong ring, some anal beads, oh, and a Shetland pony. My dad looks from me, with a huge butt grin on my face, to my now hubby, who was beat red, face pressed into the beanbag chair. Looked back at me and then walked out. We'll have been married for 3 years the end of this month. And I'm still in no small amount of trouble over it. I will probably be hearing about it for the rest of our lives. The first time I met my boyfriend's mum was when she barged in with towels while I was inside him. She didn't even know he was gay. We dressed quickly and left the house in silence and never spoke of it again. We broke up a week later. When I was 16. My also 16 year old girlfriend of 2 weeks got so hammered at a party that we called an ambulance. I met her parents in the year as their daughter they didn't know drank was having her stomach pumped. Also, in the ambulance on the way there the heart monitor flatlined. I thought she was dead. Turned out the monitor had fallen off her finger. TL. DR. New girlfriend got alcohol poisoning. Met parents in hospital dated a ghetto latina and her family was full of gangbangers met the family on her birthday but left when the dad cast the cake he stabbed the cake and licked off the frosting i have never been so creepily threatened my friend's girlfriend asked him to come and meet her father in her bedroom when they were both messy on acid the only problem is that her father died a long time ago but she was adamant 
and he had to go with her and play along with it. This happened to a friend of mine and her boyfriend. My friend has the tendency to faint when she gets dehydrated. They were coming back from a cruise and were in customs. They had been partying all night and she didn't feel good. Just as they got on an escalator, she passes out, falling into her boyfriend, who caught her. Security called an ambulance and she was brought to the hospital. Because they were in customs, her parents couldn't come in and her boyfriend had to go outside, introduce himself and explain to them what had happened. They all go to the hospital and are sitting around the hospital bed she's in, when suddenly the nurse comes in and goes, Chelsea, we think you may be pregnant, you need to take a pregnancy test, she described it as the longest moment of silence. She gets up, follows the nurse, leaving her boyfriend alone in the room with her parents whom he had just met. He said it was the, the most awkward 5 minutes of his life. She turned out not to be pregnant and now they've been together almost 4 years. Probably too late on this thread but here it is anyway. I was just starting to date my girlfriend. We were at a party close to her parents house and I was far too drunk to drive home so she said I can just stay with her. We snuck into her parents house and we both passed out right away. Her parents did not know I was there. They haven't even met me before yet. I vaguely remember what happened next. I woke up at about 4am and had to use the bathroom. Being wasted and not knowing the layout of the house. I walked right into her parents room and proceeded to pee all over their hardwood floor. Her stepdad woke up and about beat the crap out of me. He was screaming what the frick. Who the frick are you? What the frick are you doing? My girlfriend came in and told them who I was. I was so embarrassed. I stayed the rest of the night. My girlfriend cleaned up my pee. I left early next morning to avoid seeing her parents again. Fast forward to now. Her parents love me. I regularly go over there while my girlfriend is still working to watch sports with her stepdad. Her mom makes me food too. Guess you can say it was a rocky start but they learned to love my floor pee self. Oh man I hope I'm not too late for this thread. I have the perfect story. My junior year of high school I started dating a girl. One day I went over to her mother's house. Her parents were divorced and we started watching a movie. Doing what most teenagers do. We started to get down and frisky. I have my right hand down her pants when we hear footsteps coming up the stairs. I immediately pull out and jump to the other side of the couch. Her dad walks into the room, and having never met me before, holds out his hand to shake mine. Problem is, my hand is still wet with female fluids. So I stand up and awkwardly hold out my left hand to shake his, and just gives me the dirtiest look. Somehow, I think he knew. TL. DR. Dad almost touched his daughter's juices. I am 5 feet 8. My then boyfriend is 5 feet 9. And his mother is a petite 4 feet 10. I was so nervous that when I bent down to hug her, I didn't bow low enough and essentially motorboated my now mother-in-law. Not my GF's parents, but last night I was at a birthday party for a girl. When she introduced her mom she said, this is the person who gave me life to which I replied, oh isn't there another ingredient missing for the recipe, everyone gets quiet, he passed away a while ago, very awkward. I went over to his house and his mom was on the couch playing a DS I think, we were going swimming, so I came back in the house and had my wet bikini on, anyway, the dad comes in drunk. Sees me and says hi, then asks her where his shotgun is because there was a stray dog that was trying to buy them at his garage. Did mechanic work. She then proceeds to find it for him, but she was a little drunk too and mad that he interrupted her game. It was a little weird. My BF at the time just kind of took me to his room. Later, the mom walked in and we were just cuddling, but his shirt was off and I was on top of him. She then let the younger brother in to play computer. She saw us but couldn't have cared less. It's not the absolute worst story or anything, but just very awkward and weird. Got invited over for dinner and a movie. My ex's dad was a very intimidating man. Metalhead. Former M addict who is 6 feet 6 and close to 400 pounds of mostly muscle with a penchant for firearms. I come in, and all is going well. He actually seems like a really friendly guy then. Things get bad. We're eating dinner and he excuses himself from the table. He walks into his room and is absent for a few minutes. We continue conversing and my ex's mom begins asking about me. Life, goals, 
things of that nature. Suddenly I hear the distinct sound of a bump action shotgun being engaged, and I freeze. He puts it up to my back and yells stand up you little crap. I get up and he pushes me against the wall. He looks. Wired would be the best way to put it. Erratic, like he was strung out again. He tells me to turn around and look him in the eyes and confess to the things I did to his daughter. I have no idea what he's talking about, and at this point I'm whimpering a bit. He finally says he's fed up, and staring me straight in the eye. He pulls the trigger. I, quite literally, pee myself and slide to the ground in the fetal position as he, my ex and her mom all laugh hysterically at me. He fired a blank shell at me, and to this day I love that man to death. The first time I met my friend's mom was when she opened the door to his room to find that her son, and his friend, me, were drinking, had an 18 pack on the floor, a pyramid of beer cans on her nice table we moved into said room, and that he ditched school to get drunk and play GTA with me, first and only time she ever came home from work early. Spent the night at the girl's house, her father apparently, and not to my knowledge, slept in her brother's old room across the hallway, but only when the mom had to get up early to go to work. It was one of those nights, and her father and I both walked out of rooms at the same time to use the bathroom down the hall, both naked, yeah yikes. Was drinking at a bar for a friend's birthday. This old guy kept hanging around our table chatting with us and was overly a pretty cool guy buying us drinks all night and telling us funny stories. I was flirting with this chick who was a friend of a friend and we hit things off fairly well. Just as I was leaving the girl grabbed me by the collar and started shoving her tongue down my throat and gave me her number. As you turned around the old guy smiled and looked at me and said I wondered how drunk you needed to be to try and pick up my daughter. I guess that wasn't enough but she usually gets what she wants anyways. TL. DR. Girl brought her dad as a wingman to a bar to try and get with me. When I was in high school I thought it would be cute to ask my boyfriend to prom by having a pizza delivered to his house with prom written in pepperoni. Well my boyfriend's dad opened the door and threatened to call the cops on the pizza guy when he insisted that he didn't order a pizza. Once everything was explained I met his dad a couple weeks later. Or Kotako. One of my best friends went to a girl's house to meet her parents. He was waiting downstairs while she got ready, something very common when dating in the 1960s. She was coming downstairs and some part of her clothing was undone. He didn't want her to be embarrassed so he pointed out the front window and said, look unbeknownst to him, at the exact moment, two dogs were fricking on the lawn. Surprisingly that was their last date. Well, my current girlfriend's mom is a tad intimidating at first. We're driving to her house for me to meet the family for the first time and she goes oh, by the way, my mom used to work in intelligence for the military, so if she asks you anything, don't lie to her, comma oh okay, we get to her house, nobody home, who, so we lay together on the couch, watching movies, having some fun, her parents walk in later that night, her mom is stumbling drunk, I offer a hello when they walk in, did that boy just say yo to me? Did I hear him say yo? No mom. He said hello. Oh. Okay. She sits down on the couch directly across from me. Looks at me sternly and says. You're Italian. Aren't you? I'm American but with a ton of Italian in my family. Uh. Yes. Oh good. I like that. Do you like animals? Comma I love cats and dogs and such. Yeah. What about chickens? Comma I like how they taste. This interrogation continued on for about 10 minutes before it dissolved into more of a conversation between us both, at the end of which she goes he's nice and has a cute butt. I like him. I was going to meet my girlfriend's parents. We got to her house before they did. She made hot chocolate it was the middle of winter, which I of course spilled on my lap, because I'm a dumbass, and she told me to take my jeans off. I refused thinking that her mom and dad were on their way from the hospital as we spoke. Her dad was a nose and throat doctor, her mother a clinical psychologist. She pointed out that if I didn't, I was going to have first or second degree burns in a very uncomfortable place. I got my pants off, just as her parents walk in. I stand up doctors, name withheld. I realize what this looks like, but I promise, if you just give a moment to explain. This wasn't the first meet but it's close. My wife is Polish and we were all sitting around the dinner table in Poland. 
sipping vodka the night before we got married. With the help of my wife translating, they asked me, what is our daughter's biggest flaw? Now I don't speak Polish, but I know a couple words and phrases. In an attempt be funny, I tried to form a primitive sentence and say, also using pantomiming, she swears a lot. What I said was Dozakawa. On the night before our wedding I told the parents of my soon to be wife that their daughter is a big W. I've never seen my mother-in-law's eyes so big. Her dad had vodka coming out his nose with laughter, and my soon to be wife had a lot of explaining to do. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.